Evening everyone, welcome to Morgan and More. I'm Morgan, if you haven't guessed it already, and today we're rolling out with episode two of Pit Stop, where we're gonna be talking about my top favorite snacks at Walt Disney World. Let's get into the video. Alright, so if you know me, you know that I eat, sleep, and breathe Disney and everything about Disney. So I wanted this episode to be about one of my favorite things to do at Disney, and that is to eat. Now more specifically, we're going to be talking about snacks. So I've compiled a list of my top five snacks and a couple of honorable mentions. So without further ado, we're going to go ahead and get into my top five. Starting out with number five. Now, we all love a good Mickey-shaped item. Whether it be a Mickey premium bar, whether it be an ice cream sandwich, whatever it may be. But to me, my favorite Mickey-shaped snack is Mickey pretzels. Mickey pretzels have changed a lot over the years, as well as their price. Their price currently right now is $6.59 but it really just depends on which park or resort that you go to in order to get this. Sometimes it can be all the way up to $7. But my favorite thing isn't necessarily the Mickey pretzel. I'm gonna go one step above the Mickey pretzel and say that the Pepper Jack pretzel is to die for. I can't fully explain how good this Pepper Jack pretzel is. Now, I was really upset the last time I went because where I was originally getting it while I was on my Disney College program, it was no longer being served there. And that was over at the Lunching Pad in Magic Kingdom over in Tomorrowland. They were not selling those anymore. They're still selling the cream cheese filled pretzel, but not the Pepper Jack one. So I ended up finding out just a few days ago that they actually moved that pretzel over to Tortuga Tavern, which is over in Adventureland, right next to Pirates of the Caribbean. And that pretzel, from what I can remember, is $4.79. It could be a little bit more. I'm not really sure. It's been a long time since I've had it. Moving on to number four is popcorn. Now, popcorn is one of those things that's just a super salty, delicious snack that I love so much. I eat it at every movie I watch. I eat it on the daily, pretty much. But you can go to Disney and for $5, you can get a box or bag of popcorn. However, the best bang for your buck is the popcorn bucket. Now, the popcorn bucket is $10, which is a little pricey. It's double the price, but for $2, you can get refills. Only $2, guys. It practically pays for itself. And if you're like me and you just love popcorn, over in Epcot near Figment, there is a popcorn stand that has multi-flavored popcorn. Over there, you can get sour cream and chive, you can get buffalo blue cheese, or you can get cheddar. And a little tip that I found helpful is that you can go and ask them to mix all three flavors. They'll put it in your bucket or box or whatever. They'll shake it up for you and you have a tremendously delicious snack. Moving on to number three on the list is LeFou's Brew. LeFou's Brew is over in New Fantasyland, over in Gaston's Tavern. It is so good. It's frozen apple juice with marshmallow inside and then like a mango froth on top. Oh, it's so good, it's delicious, I love it. Go stop by and get you some. It is $5.79, or you can get a souvenir mug or chalice, and that will be $12.99, but don't feel like you have to get the souvenir cup. Moving on to number two is over in Germany, in Epcot, over in the World Showcase, you can stop by the caramel shop and get a salted caramel chocolate square now this is something that it's small but it packs a lot of punch and i usually can't finish it mainly because my jaw hurts by the time i get through halfway done but it's a great snack it tastes amazing but i don't have the price of this i tried to look it up and i couldn't find the price so to make it up for you i'm gonna go with like a side note that i do know the price for and that is dole whip floats 
This is also my way of saying this didn't make my top five, but I definitely need to mention it because it's so good. Oh, I love it so much. And that is the Dole Whip float. So we got Dole Whip for the first time. This is our 10th time to come and somehow we missed out on this. It is the most fantastic snack I think I've had here. And that's really pushing it because I love churros and pretzels. But I say this is the best by far. The Dole Whip float is the pineapple soft serve with pineapple juice in it. It is phenomenal. I love it. It's a great snack. And that is $5.99. But you can find this at more places than just Magic Kingdom now. The last time I was there, I stayed at Pop Century and they had it at Pop Century. Dang. They've also had it over in Epcot. There's many places where you can find it now. It's not something that's just exclusive to Magic Kingdom, which is a little sad, but also really good because you can find it in more than one location. All right, we're down to number one on my list. And number one is by far my absolute favorite. Every time I go to Disney, every single day I'm there, multiple times a day, I get this item. This item is Joffrey's Coffee. I love Joffrey's coffee, so much so that I have bags upon bags of coffee beans from Joffrey's in my own house that we make quite often. Now, Joffrey's coffee can range anywhere from $3.99 all the way up to $5.69, but they also sell teas, and along with that, they also make muffins and donuts and other snacks like that. For some reason, if you have not had Joffrey's coffee before, please go by and get some. Get some. We are going to get, get some. Get some. Now that we've gone through my top five, I really want to talk about my honorable mentions. So essentially my top five, you can even go in with a snack credit at Disney. If you're on a meal plan that's designed to have snacks included, you can get all of these on my top five list for your snack credit. And I highly suggest you do so. I know that's what I do when I get it. But the two things that I absolutely love that are snacks at Walt Disney World that are not snack credits, I chose to be honorable mentions because I love them so much. I love to talk about them because oh, every time I go by these locations, I have to go get some, have to. All right, so honorable mention number one is over at Golden Oak Outpost in Frontierland at Magic Kingdom, which by the way, is rarely open, but when they are, they serve chili queso fries that are to die for. Absolutely just a wonderful snack. I love these fries so much. Honestly, that was A1. I suggest you get it. You're welcome. We're at the Golden Oak Outpost. There's mini bugs. It's a quick service that's only open really when it's crowded. And like today, which like, is, wow, it's President's Day. You're like, well, I want some waffle fries. It looks open right now. And then you turn around and blink, and then you turn back, and it looks like it's been vacated for five years. This delicacy is $6.49. Now I mentioned about the snack plan. This is one of those things where when I went, I don't think I saw the little symbol that said it was on the snack plan, but I could be wrong. They could have changed that. You know, Disney surprises me every day. Moving on to my last and final snack option is the cheese board from Baseline Tap House. If you watched my video where me and Kate go to Hollywood Studios, you know that that cheese board that we got looks fantastic. Well, it tastes as good as it looks, if not better. This board has a ton of different options just to snack on. It's a great thing to share too. So every time me and Kate went to Hollywood Studios, we'd stop by Baseline, we'd go get the cheese board over there and we would split it. But while we were there, another thing that I recommend from Baseline is the Wild Strawberry Lemonade. If you're not 21 or you don't like drinking or anything like that, there is options at Baseline for drinks. And my favorite thing to get is the Wild strawberry lemonade I don't know what they put in it but it's fantastic it tastes great and it's something that I wish I knew how to make at home now the cheese board there is $10 so it is a little bit pricey but like I mentioned you can share with somebody so it gives you more bang for your buck 
Okay, so that is all for the list that I have, but I was really curious to know what you guys like, so I took it to Instagram and asked what kind of snacks were your favorites, and so I'm going to read some of the responses here. First off, we have We Stand Dole Whip and Violet Lemonade. Amen to both. Flower and Gardens here. Somebody please go get some Violet Lemonade, take a picture, and tag me in it, please. Maybe I can just live vicariously through you. The next one says Dole Whip, of course. I feel like Dole Whip's a very popular option. I just sat here for a good five minutes trying to pick just one and physically can't do it. Can I get an amen? The person who sent this in, I texted them, I said, please do me a favor and go put at least your top five if you can't choose one. So they came back and they said, top five as you requested is Dole Whip, Violet Lemonade, LeFou's Brew, Salted Caramel Chocolate from Germany, and the Pepper Jack Pretzel. We have a very similar list. Um, and if you knew who this person was, um, you'd know that we're soulmates, so. Anyway, then they came back and said, actually, I forgot, Night Blossom from Pandora is six, I think. I'm sorry. That's okay. The top five is a very hard thing to do. Someone said an ice cream cookie sandwich, which is fantastic. Go over to Magic Kingdom and go get one from the little uh, ice cream shop over on the corner of Main Street. Oh, it's so good. I can literally taste it right now. Violet Saki. Oh my gosh, Violet Saki is so good. It's over in Japan in Epcot. It tastes like a Jolly Rancher. I'm straight up being serious with you. It tastes exactly like a Jolly Rancher. The breadsticks you get from room service. Interesting. Does Dole Whip count as a snack? Uh, heck yeah it does. Dole Whip, the Disney Nugs, Mickey Pretzel, and the Mickey Cake Pops. I'm gonna come clean real quick and just say that I've never had a cake pop from Disney and I know people are gonna come after me for that, but I just, I want one, I just haven't gotten one. Also the ice cream macaroons from the French Pavilion. You. I mean, I'm flattered. The cheese board, heck yeah. Joffrey's guava tea, oof. It's only seasonal, so I don't know if it's still there or not, but it's seasonal and it's great. First, I'm not a tea person, but it was pretty good, I'm not gonna lie. Joffrey's blueberry muffin, AKA my breakfast for opening Nemo shifts. Well, if she didn't expose herself before with the cheese board, she definitely exposed herself now. That's Kate. PB and J milkshake from Primetime. I've never stepped foot into Primetime, but if I did, I would definitely get this milkshake. Glazed nuts. No comment. Chocolate drizzle caramel apple. Caramel apples are so good. Working over near sweet spells while I did my Disney college program was insanely hard because I wanted a caramel apple every day. But the nights that I stayed after voluntarily, I ended up getting free caramel apples. So there is perks to going above and beyond. Next we have corn dog nuggets, Nutella waffle, and Mickey premium bar. All great options. And then the last one that I'm gonna do before I wrap up this video is macaroons. That is all that I have for this video today. Thank you so much for answering my question over Instagram. If your favorite snack was not mentioned in this video, please tell me down below in the comments. I wanna know what you guys like. Maybe I get to try it the next time I'm there. Maybe you're gonna tell me something that I didn't even know was there. It's highly unlikely, but hey, I'm down for surprises. That's all from me, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, be sure to give it a big thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe. I will see all of you lovely people in the next video, but until then, remember that adventure is out there. I'll see you guys later. Peace. Shh.